Walker. It actually puts you in a spot when you're actually leaving the last two picks Ten for two supports. Remaining. Well, in this case, Evil Geniuses, they still have a very versatile lineup, even Five though they did pick. Wait, what was the question? I didn't hear it. When uh, you leave the two support, like you drafted your three cores in your first three picks, uh -huh. so you have the two supports to pick in the last two picks. Does that put you as a disadvantage when you're drafting? Sorry, okay. Shane, you were... So I was saying that EG have a, like still quite versatile lineup, whereas they could put Naga, say she could be a support lane, she could be uh -huh. mid. Like, the bat rider can jungle, he can offlane. Like, they still have a lot of options, even though they did pick the three cores. Whereas, like, they seem to put, like, for example, Lycan and Invoker, they want their heroes that, like, they rotate the game around, rather than the heroes, for example, like, the poor heroes that they might, they, they feel like aren't as important in this kind of current game. I, at first, well, there's, like, pros and cons to that. The, the pros is supports are generally a lot more versatile, and, uh, in terms of what you can do. For example, Shadow Sham, Shadow Demon, in this case, Ten is a support that we don't remaining. see too often. Mm -hmm. But by waiting to see all the cores, Shadow Demon Five is a very good anti-carry of sorts. Like, that Demonic Purge could, for example, make Shadow Fiend not do anything in terms of Reclix. Uh, the downside time. of drafting your support late is some of the supports or some of the higher tier drafts picks. For example, Visage. If you want Nyx. to pick up Visage, you need to pick him up quickly. Ten seconds yeah. You were saying Nyx? Or Dazzle as well. Yeah, AA. Dazzle, for example, yeah, or AA. So those are kind of a great example, or if Radiant it's a patch or two ago, it was things like Wisp. You have to first pick it, and so you can never really kind of last pick it. And so now we have the Shadow Demon, as is one of the support, together with the Invoker. If it's going to be an extra Invoker... Oh, baby, that damage is crazy. Like. Yeah. Uh, I think you were... Was it you, Tommy, that you were saying that you don't like Shadow Demon as much? As an initiator with um, Invoker that you would rather have. What's it we were talking about? I think Shadow Demon is fine. Yeah, I think Shadow Demon is cool as well. Um, no, Bane. Like Shadow Demon and Bane, when you have an, an extort Invoker. No. Having what? both of them, you're saying? Like either or. Either or, and ha I could choose? Yeah. Radiant I mean, I just think Bane is a better hero overall, so I would prefer Bane most of the time. Like, but, I uh, mean, uh, what I'm saying is that they both have a, a spell that allows you to set up. Set the, up, yeah. I mean,. Oh. The, the, the only downside, sorry, I keep cutting you off, Shane. I'm sorry. The, the only downside of Shadow Demon is that it's, it gives to me a lot of time for the enemy team to react. Because two and a half seconds is a lot of time yeah. in the high level to react. But yeah, you were saying something about the Shadow Demon? Yeah, well, I think with the Bane, it's not a guaranteed zone strike, Ten especially if it's a dual lane, which a lot of teams nowadays mm -hmm. prefer. Like, you're definitely not Five getting, like, there's a remaining. good chance you're not getting the zone strike off because it's one, 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 one for the zone strike duration. Like it's a lot of time to dispel the sleep. Whereas Shadow Demon, you're 100% getting it. And also does like, what, 700 and something? If damage? you put a Soul Catcher on yeah, it, yeah. It's crazy damage. That's pure damage as well. Alright, so we're rounding out the draft here for EG. It's gonna be. Uh, oh my god. Eventual sub carry? Do, no, does this remind you of anything? The Team Dog team? The Team Dog goes for <laughs> Chen, so they might do that early level Roshan, but they did it with Avenge last time. When they played in uh, China, was it Misery and Pika? They always picked Luna, Shadow Demon and Chen. Yeah, it was the LGD int with, exactly. uh, with actually IG did as well. So, uh, th yeah. Uh, they roam with the Shadow Demon and Chen and just disrupt? Well, it was more so on things like Vengeful Spear and Crystal Maiden, who had a lot harder of initiation, but I think Shadow Demon is just fine in terms of setting up a Centaur Stomp or whatnot. Uh, on the other side, the support duo of Ventral Spirit, actually it's not going to be V, it's going to be a Ventral Carry as battle. Mason is going to be handling that Ventral Spirit. The other support, like you said, the versatility of drafting Naga early and uh, throwing all of us for a loop because it's going to be Arteezy on that Shadow Fiend. Universe on the Batrider. Smuggler is going to be off laning the, the Weaver. I'm getting my chair! Woo! You get the toilet paper chair. Oh, let me move over in the bed. Let's rotate. Oh, now let's stay here for this one. What? Uh, okay. Actually, I think this is a fairly cool draft for e, uh, for Team Dog in the sense that if they ever get an opening, they could take down Roshan very quickly with Chen Creeps, uh, with Wolves, How, probably an Exhort Invoker. Mm -hmm. The hell with the Weaver as well, with the Geminate attack. Yeah. It's Especially, it's similar to when they play AA with Weaver. It doesn't. Yeah. And that's like one of the interesting tips for um, maybe more beginner players. If your hero has some kind of steroid that allows you to attack more or like faster, mm -hmm. you always want to build damage on that hero instead of attack speed. And if your hero has something that makes you attack stronger, like either Howl or a crit or anything that increases your attack either, either constantly or every once in a while, you want attack speed so that you can get more, more yeah. damage. Yeah. 
So, for example, that's why we see Weaver getting plus the damage, like begins. face boots into a Desolator. Right. Very, very common. Uh, and what's a good example of like I hear with crits and you want to get attack speed and so like maybe a, a Rave King getting treads into yeah, Juggernaut, AC. Juggernaut going for Yasha, quick yeah, Yasha sure, into sure. The drums and Butterfly. Stuff. Yeah. Okay, so they go for the dual lane mid, Lycan and Shadow Demon against Shadow Fiend. Um, it's pretty crazy. I mean. He's going to secure the Lycan farm, but can you really kill with the Lycan in the lane? I, I think even? this is a very, very weak choice of <laughs> laning. I'm not sure exactly. Although getting a, a very good lane out of MSS, and the killing power is not exactly lacking if you're taking consideration of disruption into Sunstrike, which seems to be not the case, because Invoker on the bottom lane hasn't actually had region skilled at the moment mm -hmm. and he's got this, a blaze of attack so i imagine it's gonna be a cross weapon maybe he's trying to hide it for as long as possible Top of the EPD, EPD, give him the point oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> first of all it doesn't give you any extra points right just like kill no but it does give you a lot of gold which increases your gpm ah. um, not on my yeah watch. all right good stuff good stuff so it was actually mym that we last saw run a carry bench and the important thing about Carry Venge is you want to get levels quickly because her base armor is actually pretty impressive. Um, the, the downside is if you're getting a lot of uh, level on Venge and you're kind of suicidally swapping in, that's not where you want to be. But we'll, we'll see how Mason plays it. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Fogged is getting some levels. They have two smokes as well. Yeah, I mean, that's what you have to do. Well, you have to wait until you get this cool like first creep that's going to allow you to do something. And then you just smoke and get the kill because otherwise, if you're going to play the Chen as a let's just get a wild kid and try to get quick levels, it's really good and all, but that Lycan is going to suffer. Yeah, I mean, Lycan is going to be suffering until that gank comes. So, Arteezy, level 3, he needs to be oh, pushing out the waves right now, but here comes the rotation. It's going to wrap around. We're going to start with the disruption, I imagine. Here we go, disruption. The ensnare is going to come through, and look at how much stuff they have around. The right click's going to come through. Arteezy going down. Looks like Fog is going to be picking up that first kill. The hell damage working on the Chen creeps, like yeah. the little, even the dark, yeah. the little tiny yep. uh, creeps. It's so many. What, what are they called? The little skeleton dudes. Skeleton dudes, yeah. yeah that's, that's what they're called. I like that. Yeah, immediately the two supports re-smoke again, so here we go. Smoke looking uh, top. Is he going to be okay? Down. Oh man, they're going to go he with the exact same gank on, I think, SF. Oh, he leaves this time. Oh he has a sound, so he's going to be fine. But they're going to go the with Rigu's. the Yeah, the, the Rigu's. Rigu's gank and RTZ. Oh, they're not going to gank me again. Here we go, the disruption. Where is it? They're waiting for him. The soul catcher is going to land, though. The ensnare is going to be right there. Do they have how? They do not have it. And I don't think they're going to get the kill Misery as a low? result. Misery's oh. dropping low from the tower. Well, they kind of force him to run away for a while at least. That will buy Pike at some time. Uh, I don't know what Pike was doing. He was very, very far away with that. He's going to go down there. It's not good being a Weaver when you, they have so many sentries and the snare. And the lift as well. So you yeah, think but you're away and then all of a sudden it's like... The thing about the snare is that if you don't pop the Shukuchi really fast, you're going to be visible yeah. even if you go. It's uh, ensnare. Yeah, it ensnares you into visibility. That's the name of the actual skill, though. It's like same as Crystal Maiden, isn't it? It's called an ensnare. What? No, the, the mechanic is called the ensnare. Yeah. But the uh, spell is called the ensnare yeah, as well. Yeah, but they're yeah. like... Uh, are they still uh, root and ensnare are two different mechanics in Dota 2? I think they are. But they both reveal invis. I mean, they both do the same thing, yes. right? No, yeah. they, do, they don't do exactly the same thing. Root one, you, one you can attack from, and the other one you can't. Ah. Which one can you thing? attack? Frostbite, you can't... It's a, I think it's a root mechanic, and you can't attack out of Frostbite. Uh-huh. Uh, and snare, you can attack out of and snare. Wait, but you can attack out of the Naga snare as well as the Lundra. Yeah. Then maybe the nomenclature is wrong, and like, I'm talking about. Oh, I'm so confused. That's my one. Please, not please. Having a good time. Misery. The, I love the little slap. Oh, go on, creep. Oh, oh. Uh, here comes the Chen. Chen does a lot of burst damage if he has a mana for the test of faith, which unfortunately he does not. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending yeah. who you're looking at. I mean, I have Universe, so Universe, where you at? Your Batrider. He's doing pretty well. He is. Near level 5. Got forced out of lane by MSS, though. We've been seeing a much more of an increase of kind of leveling Firefly because, you know, your support's going to stack your jungle. You could get a quick blink dagger as a result. Personally, mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of it because I just think having that one point is just your stun is always very valuable in, in terms of canceling TPs or whatnot. But, you know, for what's worth, he's doing quite well in the volley. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, 
Uh, if he was against uh, Trilane, maybe? Or something like that. If it's only against the Invoker, the chance of the Invoker actually TPing away early game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but universally, against Trilane or not, bat riders just don't go for that uh, flame break. But, yeah. you know, they're pros, so we'll, we'll, we'll take their skill build and, and work with it. Uh, I mean, okay, they're pros, and I'm not going to say we know better, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I feel that sometimes, I mean, from talks with pros, they will be the first to admit, like, no, I actually thought it was good, but actually I was wrong. Ah, okay. Um, so sometimes you can't really take words for granted. Well, I, yeah, you have to try things as well, though. I still remember um, one of the conversations, like, long time ago, so I, I won't hold it against him, but, like, when we were talking, just when Elder Titan came out, Papi was like, ah, that was like, that's not such a good hero. Mm. Elder Titan, like, kind of okay, yeah. And then they played against, oh, sorry, it was not Papi, it was um, uh, EGM from Alliance. And he, they, they, they played them after that, and Na Navi played it. Yeah. Uh, and they were like, oh, well, we really didn't know how strong the hero was. And yeah. now we change our minds. And there's nothing wrong with changing your mind, because like that's how you become better. But sometimes reading what a skill does on paper isn't the same as actually seeing it in the game. That's true. Because mm -hmm. uh, EGM never played Terrorblade before, and I was playing <laughs> in a pub game with him, and he was like, well, what does this hero do? You know, so they don't, they just play their, their scrims, and they play, so they have the games to play. So if it's not in captain's mode, they might not have played it, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Because they practice so much. I think we're, or personally, I'm the biggest, uh, guilty of that because when a patch lock comes out you know let's do a patch lock yeah. analysis we have never played a patch it's just judging it by paper and you know we, we make it in a like three hour talk because of that but yeah we digress yeah so how's shadow Fiend been doing he dodged one of the two smoke ganks rtz well he's actually very close to being the highest farmer in the game so it seems like he was not affected at all and that shouldn't be a surprise because Lycan is not exactly going to shut down Shadow Fiend anytime soon. I said it before, I think Artisi is one of those players that can start 0-1-3 and then have a normal game. Doesn't yeah. matter how, how... I mean, he's a streamer, man. He's used to the three-man format yeah. smoke at level 1, he <laughs> dies, he teleports back and he owns a lane, so... Yeah, it's Artisi. Yeah. That yeah, seems like a great discussion for... Um, BTS new show in the studio. Like they, they write to, like, like to do the, the shows and base it on one discussion. I think they're going to have something on performance enhancing drugs. In, uh, in Dota? Uh, in Dota 2. There was a Reddit thread. Reddit. Yeah. Like, and now, like, like maybe, for the, maybe for next. Uh, no, like Adderall and oh, stuff like okay. that. Apparently, it makes you really good at the game. Don't know. But hey. No. Uh, like, they could talk about perfor performance enhancing streaming. <laughs> the fact that if you stream a lot, maybe you become a better player just because you get used to. People focusing you oh, all the time. Oh. Yep. Here comes the disruption. So catcher please. not being oh. taken. They lift the centaur, swaps PPD in, and the counter gank comes from my man, the universe. The slot is going to prevent any chasing coming in, and that will be it. But what turns That's out to be a gank against EG? Is Shadow a fiend. They gank. rotated four people for that though, like the yeah. four people top. So Bot lane though, it's going to be Zai. That's going to be going down. He doesn't have any points of mana Zai left. The juice around the corner. Oh. Zai. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. He has space, he has flex, he's moving fast. He's a rocket ship. It's a Yeah. I w I'm really looking forward to when they get the invoker. That like They probably have an idea to, to say, okay, you're going to get max wax or something, and then we're going to push. Mm -hmm. We have like a timing kind of thing. We're going to absolutely annihilate the towers. They've got the, the Chen creeps. They've got the wolves. Mid lane, it's going to be PPD lifting up. Misery, one oh, race, two oh. race. The self disruption get delay. Artizi no. walks back to the position where he has a C race, turns around, and gives him the zap. Well, Poikats. Poikats. Uh, he wanted to, to get the courier, yeah. I think he just walked into tower range, though. Yeah, they pinged yeah, him yeah, out. Yeah. Centaur oh. gets dropped out. Yeah. Pycat. He's like, yo, no. Uh, no he's gonna get through. snared. No mana on PPT for lift. I mean, he's clearing it up. He's almost getting it. 150. The body oh. block. Oh. He's too oh, far. Oh, too far away. <sighs> Sorry, 120, not 150. But everything seems to be going in EG's way, except maybe for the fact that that invoker is getting. Hanamitis. Everything. A lot of farm. He's got FaZe and Hanamitis coming to him. So this is a very interesting way of playing Invoker to go Quasp Wex and then Hanamitis. Yeah. But uh, regardless, uh, somebody's trying to pull him at Clarity. It doesn't work that way. But regardless, I mean, you, you cannot Race turn down levels on a hero like Invoker. Nope. Um, but yeah, I'm, sometimes I wonder myself, like, yeah, the, the Quasp Wex, I still feel that it's the best build right now for 99% of the cases. Maybe not so much, but 80% of the case. It depends on your lineup. Uh, but these are, with this lineup, I'm kind of surprised. Oh. Bottom lane. 
They're going for MSS. Can you can he he walk? He's, so he's really fast. fast. Can he ghost walk? No, he's he no, no invoke. No invoke. They're coming back, but it's just fog there. They're gonna run away. MSS survives. The blink counts. They want to go on the crypts. They're going to kill the Ooh. tomato. Yeah, they <laughs> killed the tomato. Good job, universe. He already has his blink dagger, and it's like. 10 minutes in, it's yeah. pretty, pretty great. Uh, what I was going is like when you have a Shadow Demon in your team, not going for Exor, they could have killed their TC that second time there when they couldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if they had Sun Strike. Yeah. yeah. But and then you have to, he sent Batrider back to base like two times. Yep. So he might have been able to like beat the Batrider stuff. And also, if he had Exhort there, he would die to that Batrider gang. He wouldn't yeah. be able to walk out of there. So there's Pro definitely plus and minuses. Yeah, definitely. But to to your point, I think because your supports are Shadow Demon and Chen, not exactly your best nukers, I think the team does need more damage. So I personally would favor Exhort. Like if we haven't seen any of this uh, game so far, if it was just draft, I would have guessed that he's going to Exhort because I feel like the team attack. needs damage. Weaver is also one of those heroes that needs a lot. It looks like they are going to gank Weaver. No, Misery's going to tank the gank, I guess. Uh, he's gonna go down. They haven't used magic missile yet. Smoothling just gonna take it to the face, but Ian Portillo is gonna come in and Zai, out of all the mana universe, though, gonna come in with a big flame break and Zai is gonna survive as a result. Big play for the universe. That courier. Are they going for the courier? No, it's a bait courier because there's a sentry there. It's also like a moose, flying moose? I don't know. It's called the EG Throw. That's the name yeah. of it. Which the they throw. need to rename of it because uh, <laughs> they're not throwing no they, more. They stopped throwing. Something to do with a new oh. lineup. Oh, okay. universe! Oh. Fast enough. Fast enough. Hand of money from the bench. And Shadowfiend also has a hand of Midas as well. Yeah. Yeah, but again, this kind of. Oh, oh mid lane. It's going to be yet another gank disruption that come through. Oh. So, Catcher, do they have the demonic yeah, push? Oh, oh, they have the surround. It's oh. a lot of damage. Yeah. Well, I was maybe unsure if they were going to get it, but once the invoker appeared, we just. We, we, oh, PPD. Yeah, killing spree, baby. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really worried for a smuggling because or is it Yeah, he is not gonna do Dyer's anything this game. Like, I, I think if you're having this poor of a start as a weaver on a hey. off lane against Trial, yeah, two free towers. I mean, that's true. That's true. Tower has yeah. Fog is doing like taking a page out Radiant's of AUI. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think you, you go treads, you go medallion, you go like drums. You very very small pieces of item to help your team. Uh, but we'll, we'll see if the team is going to make him want to oh, do other Walker things. getting the kill again. <laughs> that top lane. Things going crazy. And Adventure Spirit now. Regret. Oh. PPV. He's just going to walk into the Excuse me, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing happened. It's fine. But uh, pro players know. When they see that something happens on bottom, yeah. he's going to ult easy on top of that. He's not doing yeah, it. He's just raising. He's setting up triple raises. One, two. Oh. Mm. oh. Okay. Nice ensnare. Yeah, right now, Fog is trying to buy as much items as he can. And then even if he dies, he's not going to lose anything. Yeah, he does have the fate. Yeah, he didn't Dyer's lose anything though, so that's good for him. Attack. And now they're going to take this top tower. I have to admire, I mean, I would say EG is in control of the game, but this kind of trying to pick people off are putting their towers really, really exposed. And uh, Team Dog, they know what they have to do with that. They have the Chen, which pushes really well. They have the Howl from the Lycan. And every single time they can get close Radiant's to the tower, the tower, tower falls. Under attack. Yeah. Only level one swap. You Normally, I would say getting early towers is always a good thing because, you know, tower go map advantage. But for some heroes like Slark, for example, getting these tier one tower down opens the map for them to actually go into the other jungle and start ganking. But for Team Dog, it, getting these towers doesn't really do anything. For the support, they're not going to smoke gank the two of them into the enemy jungle blind and get ganks. Uh, for Invoker or Lycan, they're not going to be Radiant's roaming into the enemy jungle and look for ganks. So I feel like these tier 1 towers are like, yeah, it's tier 1s, it's okay. Wouldn't you say that maybe that those tier 1s was what allowed Weaver to get the Midas? And just yeah, maybe sure. bounce I mean, back. He can, yeah. The it definitely has. Modes. And Sm Smoog League does have that hand of Midas. So it, it is big in that factor. Uh, and the tier 1 is big for Roshan a little bit later on, as there is a tier 1 still alive for the Radiant. Big smoke gang coming up from AJ here. Big smoke. The big smoke. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, if you built a pipe, you could smoke from the pipe? That would be pretty cool, man. <laughs> you get a free smoke. Right. I mean, you, you, what do you Chen do with a pipe? Oh. Oh. He stole the EMP? No, the call down. Okay. And he's walking on the firefly. Not enough. 
That damage, like the minus armor from the... The Reptide and the... And the Shadow Fiend and then the aura on top of that? Yeah. It's insane damage. Another reason why I really dislike uh, Shadow Demon as a support, like even if you find one or two person out in the jungle and you just want to burst him down, Shadow Demon doesn't give you Dyer's that. Middle tower is under attack. But you have ulti, ulti and then... Ult doesn't give you any damage until a few seconds later. Oh, oh, RTC going... One one oh, 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 is so greedy there and Pyka is deciding, should I go and kill? And they see Zai and Zai is low health. Even though Pyka is low health, he maybe wants to go there. He decides not to. He has no to. spells. Yeah. The Pycat is bottling up, the uh, wall form is going to run out right now, but the bench comes yeah, here, they trouble. see it. Uh -oh. No, he's fine, he's fine, there's an MSS as well. I mean, well, oh, here, no. here comes a bat rider, the flaming lasso, not even necessary, they are going to get one, and Pycat doesn't have his ult, they're going to get two. That's two of the cores. That was, that was a James, it's fine. Like, the, it's going really bad, and James is like, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, they overstay their welcome a little bit, but... I mean, they could just straight up lose Roche. I think EG, RTG spawns back and they just walk into Roshan. That's what they will do. Or they take the two P P P P D. How do you feel the game's going? Aside from the 5 to 13 EG lead. Well, I mean, if you look at the goal and everything, it's kind of up and down. It's pretty surprising. I mean, the experience is now getting in EG's favor, which is what happens when you get a massive team fight. Um, but other than that, I think Doug has one of those teams where if you have a bad team fight yourself, you lose two towers and rocks. Yeah, especially late game. If if they get anything on the get more items on the Lycan and the Weaver, all of a sudden their towers are gone if they lose a team mm -hmm. fight. Like. And Shadowfin needs to really go get a BKB. I think for this, it's maybe to a lesser extent, but EG has the same ability, right? With the carry Venge and mm -hmm. carry Shadowfin. They have a lot Definitely. of aura in between. They could clear wave fairly quickly, and they right clicks very hard. So, I mean, if EG, if Dog has a bad team fight, I think EG clears ours as well. Yeah, but I mean, EG are ahead right now. Not only yeah, yeah, barely true. though. It's so I'm, I'm saying, yeah. Well, I, I think the goal graph is actually a little bit uh, deceptive because. It shows that the goal is very even at mm -hmm. this moment, but you gotta keep in mind that There's a Weaver has no farm right yeah. now. He just picked up the Midas, and he's gonna pick up in terms of farm. But uh, a lot of the dog gold is in the two supports, and these two supports they don't scale well. No, they don't. But at the same time, Soul Catcher level four allows everything else to scale. Well. If you land it, I'm not a big fan of Shadow Demon. That's all. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Mm, I don't think Shadow Demon scales that badly. Yeah, I think the, the disruption late game against Shadow Fiend is actually pretty huge mm -hmm. if he doesn't have a BKB. Like sure, they, they'll yeah. do a lot of right-click I mean, damage. even if you get a BKB, you still can Demonic Purge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Still get the slow. No, I, I personally, Shadow Demon is one of my favorite supports. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And also, if you disrupt the Lycan or the Invoker and then Howl, the Illusions Radiance also have the Howl. Yeah, that's true. Dyer's I think you lose more damage for taking them out for 2.5 <laughs> seconds. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Misery is gonna get dragged to the crevice. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Help, says the Misery. Tearing up. Oh, Napalm, not flame break. Yeah. Mason got a bit of experience He's as well. Pup goes the Misery. Oh, Universe got that kill. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this fantasy thing. I think it would add so much more to the game. So. Yeah. Hopefully, it kind of becomes a, a thing. You know what they should do? Here's a petition, a proposal. Okay, I'm listening. Like. Half like 12 hours before the next Dream League week starts, it should give you a pop up. It's like, yeah. hey, Dream League starts in 12 hours, your fantasy team. And tell you who's playing. You haven't touched your fantasy team in a week. Are you sure you don't want to? I keep sure forgetting. I just keep forgetting. Looks like they're trying to ninja now, Roshan. Right? Um, something that I would like in the similar vein would be like is that you could Did set you see a. This? PPD stole hell. Oh, oh shoot, shoot. That's, that's huge. That is so huge. And like it's like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> nearly. Close enough. No cigar. Uh, yeah, I would like a, a setting where it automatically at the beginning of each day, if you did, like when, when the timer is going to expire that you can't change anymore, mm -hmm. try to put as many players that are playing that day as possible. Oh, okay. I did mine for the whole Dream League. I just went to all the hedges and just put.
put all the players in, but Radiant's he's such a strong then, yeah. Swap goes amazing. He's gonna four staff but himself out. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, here comes a bat right though. It's gonna go right on Misery, but Misery's gonna get sent back to the result. Arteezy's not being bye focused, bye, and here <laughs> comes the Requiem! Bye bye, full good. What? He cancelled it? He just raised him, okay. Alright, now the Requiem's gonna come through now, but he is gonna pop as a result. Aegis is on him. PPD on the run. Smoogly is gonna get one kill. The big bat won't get in stare down now before he takes down the Naga Siren. Arteezy's now on the run. MSS is chasing the gold wow. He's moving fast. Careful. Where's the raise though? He's gonna get pushed away. Arteezy cannot get off anything because of Cold Snap. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that they needed that Requiem to have pop it, right off the song. Having Misery, like having the tier 1 tower mid meant Misery could TP back straight away after getting sent home yes. and get straight back into the team fight. Like. Yes. I think he he was thinking, okay, this song, this uh, Requiem is only hitting Fog. Fog is a Chen, low priority target. He already used the sandbag, so there's not much he's going to contribute. There's no hand of quad. Well, I think there wasn't. Now he is. That's it, but. Kind of waited for it, like, oh, okay, now I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna try and bait Pike up into them here. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of cases, you just have only one shot and one opportunity, you know? <laughs> you, can't just, you can't just mess it up. And he did. Oh, were you doing the, the rap? What? Was I that have no thing? idea what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Mom spaghetti. Oh, they found Mulguli. What a yeah. four staff last. He can. He can. He can yeah, it's, uh, it's a very, very uh, overzealous. Yeah. Although he did have supports coming. Are they gonna bait misery? Oh, what, 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 just sent like just... loads of sentry being just dropped everywhere, <laughs> and they're gonna clear mm. all of them. Zai has one thousand gold. You think he's gonna go for the old radiance? Like just go for it? I, mean, I think. As no. a support, I'll go Midas first before. No, yeah. If okay. I want to be really greedy as a support, I'll go Midas. I mean, I. I It'd be ballsy. I, I don't think he'd do it either. But Necro three on the Lycan, Gem on the Batrider. I think I'm getting a call from this studio. <clears throat> My throat is starting to itch. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if Andy got one. By the way, MSS is behind the tower and he's being seen because there's a gem available. Yeah. Uh, uh, the zoning. He's running to defend the TP. Yeah. This is very look questionable. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is very. Oh, he's creating a lot of space. Look how fast he's he is. creating so much space right now. By the way. Holy shit. He's gonna force that down yeah, to low ground. Good. Holy shit. Where that's are you guys so good. all at? He has tornado. Oh, 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 oh. Flame break! Flame break's gonna kill him! Uh, he had a vocal. It's okay, Scrace created. Oh. Sort of. But Sorry. now he doesn't Dyer's get the value from that Midas. Fortified. But they get maybe like a lot of damage to uh, Nah, too. they just made it out of the lift. Not worth. Yeah. Start on the next Look at the babies, they're doing so much damage. I mean, Go babies. I'll put in night range, priest. Ow. Hmm. It's not in the night range. Yeah, good. Shadow Demon, happy with those arcane boots and a thousand gold. He probably should be going for four stuff now. Earn, hey. maybe? What? Earn? earn, yeah. Uh, I think Che has an earn. No, he doesn't. He has a mech. Yeah, he could be going for an earn. Make you a little bit more tanky. Two necro books on dog. They're like their, their pets. Being what worked last week, I mean, yeah. uh, you get Balling. heroes that can push. Smug League. Ah, he can't kill our Dizzy. Mm. Smug League. I mean, with the minus damage. damage. Yeah. He can't be TP forced out. Look how much damage it is. Oh. Oh. What do you mean? You can't kill our Dizzy. Where are you at? Where are you at? Wolf, Wolf. Radiant that damage. Literally from... Uh, he got the crit on the, yeah, on the attack. Yeah, Yep. Never underestimate like and damage output. 30% <laughs> chance to crit. No problem. All right. That right is a lot, if you think about it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, Juggernaut's what, like 40? Uh, level 4, it's... Mm, I think it's like 25% mm. chance oh. to get a 20% crit or something. It's higher than that. Is it? Yeah, it's like... Uh, it's the highest chance, yeah. lowest, worst crit, I think. Look. Either his or Wraith King, now I'm thinking. Mm. I thought Chaos Knight has the worst crit. So, so many... Worse no, in terms no, of worse. average damage. Yeah, but it's... No, what I'm saying is Bla uh, Blade Dance is... Um, like worst multiplier. Yeah, 35% chance. 35% of 200%. Yeah. And what about uh, Wraith King? Just looking up crits right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm actually very. Uh, I'm looking at Smoog League, and his recovery has been quite admirable. Yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. I mean, Smoog League is. Uh, he used to be a really, really consistent player when he played for CLG. Radiant's he was Pika, Misery, they would have their up and downs. Um, 
Walls was a miracle, not not miracle, the, the Naga. Loda. Miracle. And Loda. They would be players that were very irregular, but Smulgulig, like, he was just like a plunk. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's been proving here, like, yeah, he had some help from those towers that his yeah, team definitely. helped him push. It made a huge difference. Though. But yeah. sometimes a jump start is all you need, right? Yeah. yeah. I really admire players like that. Um, Burning comes to mind. TC from Liquid comes yeah. to mm -hmm. mind. Like, the players that are just rock solid every single game. Um, zero. Or zero and three. Yeah. Lost his tier one tower, got killed three times. I mean, he's one and four now. It doesn't look like he's doing much better. And he doesn't have a hundred CS. But if you look at he, well, he has. He almost has a Lincoln. Hopefully, he doesn't die for this small gun. Fog, I think, Fog, might be I, I, I think it's okay. okay. It's, like it's completely the fine. Guy, like, if Fog dies, it's like, yeah. Oh, Space creator. EMP. Here comes Pika. He turned into a wolf. Uh, Artizi is trying to get there. He's taking a lot of damage. This is not going kind of well. Like, no. They're running away. They don't oh, want to oh, come here. They don't want to come here. is going to get picked off on the back line. And look at this wolf army. They're moving mm -hmm. fast. Four staff on Mason so he can oh. get away. Do they have any initiation whatsoever to catch up? MSS, where are you at? You're the fastest the body blocks. guy. Body blocks. Uh, we Go need a tornado. Oh, tornado yeah. in four seconds. He's going to have four staff available as well. Mason being body blocked. Can he make it out? They're trying to save him, but they might lose more as a result. Here comes Cold Snap. They still have tornado. It's going to not take anyone oh, else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From Blink, but guess what? They are right in front of the tier three tower as a result of this long chase. Hells up in eight seconds. Yep. They could actually just go for a tier three or Roshan is not up. Never mind, just go for a tier three, man. Uh, they decide not to. I think they could have afford to do some damage. The song is not up. RTC is mid trying to push. Yeah, he's gonna get an invisibility room, but what's that gonna attack. make? Are oh, they gonna try to cut him off? They don't have detection. They're drawing arrows. Uh oh. I think Misery is gonna get picked off if he. Uh, yeah. They should have seen that there is... Oh, they're going to go for Universe instead. The Moose The Centaur is on. Okay, Sunstrike's going to come through the four staff, though. He's going to bring himself out. The Minus on Bermuda High. The wow. damage and, and the gem. Yeah, more quickly. Holy the gem shit. being dropped. Yeah. Hey, that time-lapse from Smuggling must have been like a quarter of a second, if not less. And if we uh, take a look at the GoGraph, Team Dog is slowly catching up. In fact, they're taking advantage. 4,000 goal league. Much thanks to the triple, no, double hand on the two cores. And also the necro box in the towers, like that. I'm having fun, I'm having fun with this game. Uh, this game's amazing. It's pretty fucking Good awesome. Game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm one of those guys that sometimes like, ah, this game is boring. Mm -hmm. uh, but this game, uh, I mean, I really like games where the team that has a... Oh, let's swap them. Let's the fly catch, can they lock him down? The EMP tornado is gonna come through defensive. Shadow Demon, but that's going to be fine. taking a full duration of all, but he still survives. He is going to be fine. Meanwhile, the Rax is fully exposed. Are they going to right click heroes? Yes, they are. Mason out of mount and Magic Mech. Fog, no, they're going to focus on Fog. Fog is going to get burst down once again, but he's a Chen. He used everything. Song going to allow them to re engage. PPD, by the way, stolen Wolf. <laughs> he's just running around the back lines. He's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, Run away. MSS. He has invoke. Defense nice. disruption. Defense disruption. All right, he's going to be can fine. You, can you hold up? You can do it. They have, but they have sentries. Oh, well, actually, what happened there was he tried to turn around to cast the spell, but and because of the bat rider, he couldn't actually cast it. Sneak in a palm. Oh, Misery, please, no, he's, run away. He's a smoke for himself just to get more MS, and it's not gonna and get broken. Works. Nearly has pink dagger, yeah. or four staff, I guess. He's coming. Yeah, four staff would be better from him. Um, but wow, I mean, I was saying, I really like these games where the team that's not in the lead in kills is actually the one dictating the tempo. Yeah. And if you look at that, I mean, EG is getting the kills, but the gold and the experience, they're all going in dogs' favor. So woof woof for these guys. I mean, maybe they're called team dogs because they're so good with Lycan. But that guy is creating so much space. I think it's a lot to do with Lycan. Like, definitely. He's one of them heroes that can just give everyone damage. Yeah. I mean, you have a Quaswex Invoker, which is not known for damage. You have Smoog League, who has a Lincoln Sphere, which is definitely not known for damage yet, but they're out damaged the entirety of Team EG. I gotta say, though, if this was... Oh, but right on the hunt. Is he gonna die? They need to perfectly yeah. chase. Yeah, 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 so much damage. So and Roshan is, should be coming back soon. Uh, it's still about a minute, maybe a little bit less, 40 seconds. Yeah, the difference I've seen in this Naga Shadowfiend combo Aoi and uh, Envy, they, they seem to combo it very well. Like they, the Requiem always goes off right under the carry, and they do a ton of damage. Yeah. I feel like the uh, communication between Arteezy as well as Zide need to be improved upon. Yeah, sometimes that happens. I mean, one would think it's not much about... It's not that hard, because you say, like, 
you don't even have to communicate. A shadow fin is not like something that you press a button and it comes out. Once you press the button, you know exactly when the Requiem. Mm -hmm. So it's up to the Naga player to quit to stop the song. Yeah. Well, it's also when she casts the song. Because I mean, if she casts the song when there's not enough players in position. Exactly. Right. Or when Arteezy decides not to Requiem the Chen because exactly, it's a yeah. low priority target or whatever else. So. I don't know. Well, but I mean, the Chen thing, I wouldn't blame it on communication. I blame it on decision making from Arteezy. Okay. Like, that's not a problem that you can or solve from with communication. From Zai maybe because he didn't actually get Pika in the uh, song. The song is a song. Like you can't say, okay, please. It's not. You're not taking a picture here. You're not taking a photo. Well, in the like, no, a little bit more to the left, please. Yeah, now smile and left your raise your left hand. Oh, now yeah, I, I think I think you are kind of taking a photo though, because you want to wait for them to be grouped up. That's the idea. Yeah, but you can't force them to group out. And but you can wait. And they maybe they very interesting be discussion. <laughs> I mean, I said before, Radiant's a year ago, they're getting like a, uh, an RP, is like finding true love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like sometimes we settle for just a one-man RP, but if we wait long enough, we find a five-man. But it might be so, too late. But it might be too late, and you might never Radiant's get it, yeah. just because you never got denied. with a four-man RP or a three-man RP. Uh, and I think the, the Naga Siren song is like taking no. a beautiful picture. It's like a Kodak moment. Okay, you know, true love is right. like a hook. Sometimes you'd go for it. You You're know? going a dangerous path there. Just stick with uh, hook. Okay, a narrow. Okay, uh, it's the same thing, right? Like you have to take the shot. You had to take the shot. This is more for the Asian fellows, the Asian viewers out there. Because right. we Asians were more timid, we're more introverted sometimes to ourselves. Right? Mm -hmm. You go and talk to that girl. Right. Lumi approved. Go. Right. Go right now. Well, not right now. After, well, the, after the game. I, I, I go and talk to the five of them. Yeah. It's pretty much Radiant's the same. Top ten. Sometimes five, you five of them girls. Well, sometimes you get the five, sometimes you only get one or two, but hey. Right. When do you ever get Br the five? Bruno's got the shotgun approach. <laughs> spray and pray. <laughs> no, the shotgun is more fling. Okay. Spray and pray, that sounds so wrong. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the AG's gonna Wolf get Roche. No. No steal Wolf. from the Wolf. No Wolf deny or snatch. Oh, oh, the... I can't. I can't. No, I can't. Please. Tornado's oh. gonna take everybody up. The Wolfo tried to run out there, but he's on a cliff. Oh, oh, he's alive at the song. Oh. Push him, push him, push him, push him. Oh, well, oh, 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 got oh, pushed oh. to the low ground. <laughs> what a play here. They're gonna burst him down. That was misery, by the way. Oh, now he's completely die. trapped. Smooklick's gonna go on a BKB, gonna get popped. Arteezy going to the right click, but he's losing a lot more HP, and he is gonna go oh, down. He's on He's not enough. Oh. He's gonna and now it's cleanup time, baby. Right. Oh, 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 Psycho oh, smores the oh, 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 There's a turn rate and a disruption. Make up your mind, guys. Stop him, but stop him with only one spell. Well, the tornado actually gave vision for the disruption. Yeah, but it would have caught him anyways. Well, you never know, man. It could have been that, that split second. And you know, guess what? Why take the risk? The, the tier 3 is very much so in danger of being brought down because they now have a desolator on Weaver. I gotta say, Misery MVP of that team fight. MVP voting for him because he pushed <laughs> Shadowfiend with the Aegis to a low ground. Misery? Dying Next level play. MSS. Can I ask why Smulgulig actually pops the Lincoln on himself? Uh, didn't it, 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 it doesn't have better cooldown. Yeah, like if, if someone uses it on him now, it's the cooldown goes down. Yeah, see? Yeah. No. What? No. It didn't happen. I think it used to be like that in the change. Oh, 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 oh nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now he can time lapse it away from there. And he also burned pretty much everyone's mana. There's no possibility from chasing. Yeah, Universe still has the mana, but everyone else. But they defended. Like they did. They did, yeah. I mean, they defended. You gotta keep in mind that Chen didn't have his army there, and Lycan definitely was not there. So mm -hmm. it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't yeah. exactly a true. There was five no five. Necro Book Three. Um, well, there was one, but there were no two Necro Book Three. And how hard is it to defend against two Necro Book Three? It's sometimes it's I feel. Hard. I, I, sometimes I feel the the pure damage nuke needs some kind of rework. Like, is in less damage? No, like in some easier way to cut, like. What if instead of, okay, like crazy idea, what if instead of just like doing damage to the killer, it exploded when it died and it dealt damage in any way? So you can still like kill it at the That'd distance. That'd be OP as shit. No, because if you can kill it at distance, then it doesn't do damage. Then it is destroy your whole people. What it feels like right now is that this is actually really strong. Two necros just. Oh, Arteezy is eating the necro, but it's eating his life points. Here comes, he needs to pop his BKB. He's walking in. Oh, no fear for Arteezy. But uh, he's dropping low. Oh, here comes the wolf, big bad wolf. 
Okay. Oh, it's not fun. Focus on Mason. Mason forced after himself out after popping the mech, but it's going to be Team Dog that's more resilient. Ice Wall gets dropped down. They're not focusing on the melee racks. They, they take the range racks, and here comes now a song. The song. This is more. Artis, he's this. walking in, but there's just he's not in position to drop anything, and the song does himself. nothing. Yep, they oh, can just bro. run away. Pike <laughs> gets defensive to the it again. Was so good. Oh my God, Misery winning the game. Tornado going to pick people up in the air. Pike at the oh, wall form in eight it. seconds. Mason's right clicking away, not doing too much. It's going to be smoothly. That's doing way more right click. Mason's going to go down. The racks again exposed, and it's going to go down to a couple more right click. They will also retreat. You said the MVP was Misery, and I'm going to agree with you. But I want to give like the second MVP or like the uh, effort award of the day uh, to Smulgulli. Okay, yeah. yeah. Such a horrible start. Yes. Such a horrible... And he doesn't have any items. You know what? He's probably going to win the MVP because we only choose cores. Here at Dream <laughs> Yeah, we do, yeah. Well, we I only mean, okay, use okay. cores. If, what well, I was thinking right now, if we had to call the MVP before this game, for the week, I would say PPD. Because what he did in past game was better than what anyone did in any of the two games here. Like, yesterday there were no MVPs. Yeah. The first game with Fnatic just having to GG because of the Steam problems, no MVP there. The second game was um, Cloud9. Yeah. Like, like, Cloud9 played well, but no, yeah. no one really stood in. So last game, PPV doing really, really well. This game, Misery. Behind that, Smulgo. So we have uh, two supports fighting it out so far? I, I think so, yeah. I nah, think so. people are saying, Smulgo, guys, he's got the Deso, man. The big deeps. I, I think a lot of his comeback was because of his team, though. It wasn't like they got every single terror within, like. Oh, sure. I mean, it's definitely it's a team effort. I mean, he, he had a lot of space in his jungle as well, yeah. so... But we can't take anything away from, from Smooth League, who... <laughs> Look at the wolf smelling yeah. Shadowfin's butt. Hunting him down. Mm. And then it died. Smells like, smells like shadow. Soul. Soul. Soul shadows. Shadows of the soul. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So what do you do now? You're EG. Well, You're corner, you lost a Rax, you lost a tier 3. You have a hero that can potentially, I think, outcarry everyone else? He's going for Radiance. Is you he? mean uh, Zai? Yep. He's got 3,300. Uh, I, think, I think it's a mistake. Why? Because, I mean, late Radiance is not that big. It, the, it's don't, it, it, the supports are tanky enough, and there's no skill that would be interrupted by Radiance. Like, there's no blink daggers or something that you can say, okay, because I have a Radiance, I can actually... Hold that up, Bruno. Here comes the biggest smoke gang ever. It's going to be Universe. Leading, Leading the charge. The charge. Misery will be a good target. It's going to be self disrupt on Misery. Tornado's going to come through. Clear the wave and everybody's going to come through. Oh, it's going to be PPE dying first. Look at the babies on the And it's going to be a defensive Jesus. look. Where's Air Shaker? <laughs> Someone call Air Shaker. <laughs> oh my. It, this is the death ball. Look at this army. <laughs> There you go. Oh, Rubik has to ride back. PPV, no, don't lose those fantasy points. Come on, man. Just, just go in the range. Yeah. There's, There's no song. So no setup. And another range racks will just Dyer's go bite the dust. And the damage on our TC tried. Oh, 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 my God. Uh, um, the, uh, our TC with the... Uh, I'm going to just say too easy for our TC? Question oh mark? My, he just said too easy. Perfectly <laughs> called. Perfectly <laughs> called. <laughs> Um, was it like the test of faith? No, it was no, like just two necro, necro creeps. creeps. So Chen has a necro as well? Yeah, Chen has a necro okay. as well, yeah. Yeah, okay, so he killed three necros and he killed himself. Yep. And he calls GG. Well played. <laughs> and he also calls Ausiad Miav 3 He just nine, smashed four. his head off his keyboard. I tried to throw, boy. It says misery. No, you didn't, fucking misery. You're the MVP of the game. Hmm. What an end.